what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel it is wild willy today i kind of mixed up that little intro right there because i kind of got a little confused on there i haven't done this in quite some time um but we are back we're back out here on the hunter classic thank you guys for tuning in and today we are going ahead and be continuing on with the shotgun missions um so bear with me here it's gonna be kind of hard for me to go ahead and play the keyboard because some of you guys already know uh i got some stitches in my finger so that's that's a bummer i caught it on a spring ripped open my whole entire top of my knuckle and the only thing that the hospital could do for me is go ahead and give me a couple stitches and go ahead and tell me where a splint and don't rip it open basically so we're out here playing the hunter classic doing the shotgun challenge and this is the cold chapter we're going after a snowshoe hare an arctic fox a sheep and a sika deer so went ahead we spawned all the way up here at the north tent or tent i mean a lodge we're gonna go ahead and roam this area here for rabbit and fox i want to get those two out of the way and i do know sickas do spawn over here and then all the doll sheep are spawning here and through this area so it's gonna be kind of tricky but i figure if we can get the arctic fox and the rabbit snowshoe hare out of the way we're setting ourselves up for some easy hunting just because we can always go to the other lodge over here and i know when we spawn in right here you always get the chance to get some sick of deer right along this ridge line right here and i always see them and then they're scattered throughout this little area too and then worst comes worst we can always just kind of adventure down this way and look up in the mountains through this way for the doll sheep so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video like i said thank you guys so much for tuning back in and go ahead and show some like love down at the comment button comment button the like button i should say you guys it's been a while since um i've really got to sit down and make out some videos and i really do appreciate you guys understanding everything this past month has just been horrible um a lot has happened in my family and a lot has been going on um i really do appreciate you guys sticking around and still watching the channel grow even though i'm not as up i'm not as much uploading i'm not i'm not much i'm not uploading as much let's just start, let's just say that you guys um i'm really hoping that that changes i worked out some of my webcam stuff it should be in 4k now so we're gonna go ahead and see if that makes a difference if it makes it look any better or not so let's go ahead and get right into the hunt you guys we're using the 12 gauge pump action shotgun going after some winter creatures all right guys so we're stuck in a rock and a hard place right now we have a rabbit literally right there and then we actually have a female arctic fox coming in right here i think we're gonna go ahead and take out the fox to go ahead and get things started here um i already went ahead and i loaded up the buckshot for this fox um i think it'll be better if we go ahead and take out the fox just because that rabbit's only gonna run so far and then stop and there's plenty more rabbits because we always can just run kick them up and shoot them on the run like that so we got our scope ready to rock and roll here with some buckshot loaded up in our gun let me go ahead and double check here i know it says yep we got some buckshot right there so we also brought seven millimeter just in case for polar bear and everything else like that so we actually just completed another mission to uh spot a female arctic fox i'm not too sure what mission that is but this fox is coming in nicely um, i'm gonna go ahead and scoot over right here so my vision does not get blocked those trees she is literally coming in on a beeline you guys um let's go ahead and get ready here as soon as she stops i think we're gonna go ahead and take a shot i'm pretty sure we don't have any trophy shot poses other than the doll sheep for this one i don't think there's any for the sika or anything else like that let's go ahead and get a shot here down she goes just like that there goes the rabbit let's kind of keep an eye on him and he's already stopped he's already stopped right there you guys so first things first you guys we're gonna go and grab that box but first i want to go ahead and flip flop all of this right now if we can go ahead and get this rabbit right on the other side of this hill we will be in great shape because i don't think it'll spook anything over and on that little barrier over here where the two mountains come together how the animals love to go up there so let's go ahead and go grab this female arctic fox the first animal of the mission so far and we absolutely crushed this thing um i don't even want to read off all of that but a score of 4.1 small one small one um, let's go ahead okay so mission winter paris is completed i think that's the arctic fox one and there is cold chapter complete right there you guys we have got this rabbit right over here so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of keep talking and we're gonna go ahead and take it nice and slow i really hope you guys are gonna have a great thanksgiving i'm not sure if this will be up before thanksgiving or after thanksgiving thanksgiving is only a, on thursday here and it's wednesday so i got another video i plan on uploading on thanksgiving so i might just wait to upload this video maybe over the weekend or something like that or maybe we'll get double uploads you guys so i got a lot of stuff that i want to i planned on because i have a pretty big break from work i planned on getting a lot of stuff done with videos and everything else like that but with my finger getting absolutely cut open and stitches and everything else like that it kind of ruined 
my plans. I had big, big things coming to the channel, big, big stuff going on. Um, and it kind of all went to a halt just because of this finger incident thing here, you guys. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, we're going to go ahead. I'm not going to go ahead and give you guys any spoilers on what it was or anything else like that. You guys are going to have to stick around and see what it was. But this rabbit should not be too far. There he is right there. Right, right in front of us. I just seen him hop. He was someplace. I think he went left. I think he was going right to left. I think he was going right to left here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of like kitty corner kind of angle walk here. Where did you go? I should have pulled the trigger. I just oh, right in front of us. Right in front. Right here. Right here. Okay. Done. Just like that. All right. Rabbit's down. Just like that. Let's go ahead and take this moment, you guys. We are grinding these things out, you guys. We still have two more animals to go, though. So I'm going to go ahead and get the slugs loaded up. Maybe we'll go for, like, some long-range stuff, you guys. I'm kind of looking forward to that. But my biggest thing was I wanted to... We're going to go ahead and clear this. I wanted to get everything done before we went ahead and we went towards this overpass because I do know Sikas and all sheep do hang up on there. So if you have a grunt caller, go ahead and try to call in the Sikas. Um, but I would like to kind of... And I just like spot and stalk them and everything else like that. So I don't think we have any trophy shot poses for this uh, snowshoe hair. But let's go ahead and pick the snowshoe hair up. Ear, neck, and left leg. And right leg. It's another female. 1254. Not too bad. Go ahead and we have five more minutes to harvest a second snowshoe hair. Oh, that's for the other challenge. Okay, so I guess if we find another snowshoe hair, we'll go ahead and take it out. But uh, the cold chapter, second animal is done, you guys. We have two more to go. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and go find like a polar bear or something else later on in the video, depending on how long this video is. I've been talking for quite some time here, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to go ahead and cut to the break real quick. A little quick commercial break, you guys. We'll be right back with some more action. Oh, he's right there. He is right freaking here, you guys. So I went up on the mountain kind of behind me, making my way towards that like kind of choke point that we were talking about and i seen a rabbit out here and when i seen the rabbit and i seen this guy here he comes here he comes i'm, a, I'm actually gonna prone here we're gonna go ahead and wait he's coming right towards us you guys so as long as he doesn't get spooked we should get a pretty close shot you guys this is going a lot better than i thought it was actually going to go ahead and go all right, guys, so we have a doll sheep coming in right now, a male. Um, he's right behind these trees right here. I was actually up in like... All right, guys, he is right on top of us, the doll sheep that we are after right now. We actually kicked this thing up when we shot at that rabbit, and he is actually coming right back. Um, I spotted a rabbit that I was actually going to go ahead and go after, but this thing, I spotted him. I could see his horns out in the snow. I was just like, oh, there's a doll sheep right there. He's coming my way, and I slowly went down the mountain. I started making my way towards him, and here we are. Cat and mouse game, waiting to see whoever makes the first move here. Um, if he spooks, I think he's still going to run out in the open here, so we still have a good opportunity to take him out. But he is someplace right here. I last seen him right there. I'm not seeing him now, so I don't know if he's feeding. There he is, right there. He's down. Just like we snuck it in there. We snuck it in there right between these two pine trees. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. There goes that rabbit over there. There was a rabbit that I was originally going to go after before he actually caught my attention. We closed the distance and we got a good shot on him, you guys. Let's go ahead and grab this doll sheep real quick. I do know there is an animal pose for this. So let's go ahead and check him out. Left lung, liver, intestine. Only a score of 143. Not the biggest doll sheep, but it will work due to the fact that we are actually going to be we are doing trophies we're not going we're, we're doing missions we're not going after trophies but we are going after trophies at the same time so we see a trophy we're not going to pass them up all right so that one's kind of cool i like that where he's standing up like that i like the ones where he's laying down like that um that's pretty neat right there it's like this something like this all right so let's go and grab my guy we're gonna do something like this it's like this let's see see if we can't get something cooking here go ahead and try this let me go ahead and oh let me go ahead just like this how does this look I don't like it. I don't like it. We're gonna move my guy. We're gonna go like this. Let's go like this. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Let's try this one. I like this one. This one's a little better. Oh, no. Wrong buttons. You guys, this is crazy hard without having a hand. All right, let's go ahead and try like that. I like that right there. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and brighten it up a little bit. Just like that. Cool. Great. Grand. You guys, let's go ahead and sell him. So we're down to one more animal, and that is the Sika. 
He's Sika. So far, we got the Arctic Fox to unkickstart things off. Then we got Snowshoe Hare. Not short, or, you know, pretty quick after that. And then the Doll Sheep literally right away after that, you guys. We are actually up and on this mountain ledge right here. Kind of glassing this opening over here. And I seen the rabbit, so I pulled up the map real quick. And I was just like, you know, I think I'm far enough away that if I went for this rabbit, that it would not spook anything away over here. And I started to go ahead and, like, kind of plot out my plan of attack. And this all sheep called and i spotted him and i was just like you know what he is coming right for us let's go ahead and slowly get down this hill and work our way right towards him and you guys seen how it went like that it was a little bit of a cat and mouse game there at the end seeing who would make the first mistake and slip up and show themselves and we won we went ahead and we harvest ourselves a good doll sheep so now we are off to sika uh, if i don't see any sikas over here we might go ahead and fast travel but I do want to scope out this area. We could see another great doll sheep or anything else like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do some scouting. And hopefully we can get a Sika right over here, you guys. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Believe it or not, this took no time at all to go ahead and spot this thing. It looks like the only Sika here on this hill. And I found one set of tracks. And I've only seen one Sika so far. And it looks like it could be a pretty good buck. Um, about 116 out. I'm going to close it down to 100. We're going to take a 100-yard shot with the slugs using the 12-gauge. Um, I'm going to hold it a little high, a little high. Um, it shouldn't be too hard, even if we do not get the greatest shot and drop them right in those tracks, track them down. And if we have to, we'll go run back to the lodge and go ahead and grab our hound just to get him out and give him some exercise to get him on a blood trail to go ahead and track down this thing. So um, this video seems to be flying by because we're on our last animal for the shotgun mission, you guys. And then I think we go to the hot, the hot one, and then the autumn one, I believe. We're gonna have to go ahead and double check. Um, but 103 right now, this thing has not moved a single muscle since we spotted him. Literally, as soon as I said, we'll see you guys in a minute, he was right there. So we went ahead and we belly crawled up here, and we're gonna get ready to take a shot here. This is still pretty far, so we're gonna hold it a little high. When you ready. Put it right on his spine. Okay, we shoot again. Hit him again. Okay, you guys, I'm not too sure what just happened. Oh, we missed. We missed. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we shot high. Oh, we shot behind him. Oh, we shot next to him. Let me get one more. Let me get one more crack. One more crack at him. Oh, we missed. Ah, oh, I have no idea. Did we hit spot? Is that why he... All right, we're gonna give him a minute. We're gonna give him some time, you guys. Let's go ahead and load back up. That's why I brought some more slugs. He's still running. He is still running up there. There's a doll sheep. Oh, that sucker came down. He's down. Yes, he's down right there. I think we hit spine on the first shot. He's down right there. He's down, you guys. That is the mission complete. Guys, that is awesome. I gotta check out this blood because I think that first shot, we crushed him. I think that first shot, we held it high because I held it right on his spine. I was thinking maybe a bullet drop at 100 yards. I'm not too too positive, but I'm pretty sure we just absolutely crushed him right in the spine. And he still took off running. So these tracks that we spotted way down yonder are going to go ahead and be his. So I wonder if he spooked and this was him not being... Yeah, he spooked. So he got kind of stuck right here when he was coming back down from being spooked. Um, let's go ahead and go look for some blood real quick. I should be right up here. Yeah, right here. He's standing right here. And we got body shot. So I'm almost certain we hit him in the spine, you guys. So more body blood right here. But I heard something else running on rocks. I'm pretty sure we tagged him twice. I watched his little butt kick out. Look at that. Like, ugh, I'm hit again. Maybe we got two body hits on this thing. And, but he is down already, you guys. I think the first one, like I keep repeating myself, was a spine hit. Um, He did not go far, though. Um, he should be down right over here. We got some tracks coming up this way, you guys. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, I thought for sure this was going to be one of the harder ones to go ahead and do just because of trying to hunt these animals in such a tight area. Um, I thought for sure that um, it wasn't going to happen like this. I thought for sure I'd be hopping around and running around like a chicken with my head cut off and everything else like that to get this video to go ahead and be somewhat decent. But unfortunately, you guys... This could be a pretty quick video. It is going to be a pretty quick video, you guys. Unlike the other ones where I think we've been averaging about 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm not too sure if there's a trophy shot pose for the Sika. 
I'm gonna check it out though. We're gonna try our best to get it one, and he is down right here. This is actually could be one of the my bigger sickas I've ever shot. I've never really hunted them. Um, he's down right here. Yeah, we hit him in the spine. We hit him in the spine and right in the butt. So at a hundred yards, that thing has no drop. Absolutely no drop, you guys. So we hit him in the body, which I'm considering a spine because if you look at where the bullets at. It's pretty, pretty close. And two body hits, um, only 74.2. He looked a lot bigger than that. Um, not going to lie. And he just absolutely just like jumped. But um, the cold chapter is complete. I don't think we have any. No, we don't have anything for a Sika. So let's go ahead and just, just do our best here. Go ahead and do our best here. Let's go ahead and move my guy down the under like this. Go ahead and pick him up like this. Go ahead and zoom in like this a little bit. Right, right there. I like that. I don't know why, but we might not use it, but we might use it for thumbnail. I'm not too sure. We got that doll sheep with a decent thumbnail showing off his poses and everything like that. But we might use this off in the corner or something. We'll go ahead and figure it out, you guys. You guys don't care about that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking around to this part. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what you guys thought I was going to struggle on the most or comment down below what your favorite animal is to hunt on this map. Uh, mine, honestly, would have to be the doll sheep when the doll sheep were announced it was awesome i loved hunting them and everything else like that i still enjoy coming back and hunting the doll sheep and doing long range shots with the 243 or underpowered or smaller caliber rifles just you know go ahead and give it a challenge so i really hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did show some love to that like button and comment down below i want to hear what your guys opinion is i want to know how far along you guys are on the shotguns and i just want to know how your guys thanksgiving has ended up being or where you're going for thanksgiving so i really hope you guys enjoyed the next time you guys hunt safe shoot straight and we'll see you guys out there